Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Tuesday the 25th of September 2018 where I just select one of our many signals in our stock scan and membership area and set it up using one of our Elliott Wave indicator suites. So let's have a look in the members area here. I'm going to look for longs today by the way. Uh, long potential fifth wave trades our members get to download the spreadsheet for 60 minute daily and weekly time frames for all those potential long fifth wave trades every day. Also the same time frames on short fifth wave trades. We'll look at longs today, so have a look at the members area there. So members simply click on the image, download the spreadsheet, which looks something like this for today. So this is the daily time frame you see at the bottom of the spreadsheet. Also there's available for 60 minute and weekly. On the daily, I've chosen MNK today on the daily time frame for a potential long fifth wave trade. So let's have a look at the charts. So first of all, I wanted the, uh, the overview of where we get this type of signal from. So this is our NT8 Ninja Trader pla uh, platform for the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite that we have on Wave5Trade.com. What I've done is isolated the lows at these, uh, the, this low at the beginning of May, and then our indicator suite has simply labeled the, a, a very small Elliott wave, then we've gone flat, and this is the big wave we're interested in now, this big move up and now a pullback against it. So as you can see there, we've got the one, two, the three, the four, and it's pulled back into our uh, pullback zones, and that's our target zone there. So let's have a closer look at this current move. Uh, on the think or swim version of our Elliott Wave indicator suite here. I've also included the volume down here overlaid. Uh, just let's talk through this now. So the first instance we are looking for is this wave four pullback against that main trend. This has happened and it's found support in our amber pullback zone here. Now this represents an 80% probability if it finds support there and starts to move away, we're going to get an 80% probability that's going to go on and hit our new Wave 5 high target here, just under $40 there. The next thing is we look at the, the behavior of the waveform. We use the first subchart at the top here is our 535 oscillator, and that has pulled back between 90 and 140%. Really good sign that this waveform has behaved normally. Uh, the next subchart down is our false breakout stochastic. You can see the yellow dots uh, at the top on the in the overbought zone. That denotes a really strong bullish trend. And then what we've had since then during the wave four is it's pulled back against that false breakout bar, and we've crossed over it a couple of times in the oversold zone. We really do need to push up now. Why I like this is we've had that wave four here. We rejected on the 17th September and since then the price action and the volume is dropping off and we don't seem to be really want to be pushing too much lower so we seem to have found good support here we're consolidating and then we need to start to move away so if we start to move away over the next couple of days we've got a good chance of that fifth wave trade starting to gather momentum and the stock returning to its overall uh, trend at the moment which is bullish so we're looking for a sensible entry it's going to be outside of the 6-4 moving average high which is this green moving average on the chart here which is part of our Elliott Wave indicator suite that we use for entry strategies so for today's bar position we're way outside there we're above the whole $32 mark 32.12 is our entry for MNK on the daily the stop loss is below this wave 4 here so we've got stop loss around about 28.37 there so a few cents below that wave for low. Entry again 32.12 and that gives us a risk to reward of 1 to 2 to the top end of our target there, 39.57 top end of the target there. So great risk to reward, simple setup. We've had this great pull, wave 4 pullback against the, the main trend there. Our stock scanner membership have pulled out this as one of those potential fifth wave trades for the long side on the daily time frame. And it's just a matter of setting up very, very simply looking for a sensible entry, decent risk reward, good stop loss, 535 is in our favour, so is the stochastic, so all's looking good. Okay, so that's it for today, have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.